Years ago, Makita was the go-to company for woodworkers and carpenters. In the last decade, they took their foot off the gas a little bit and they lost market share to DeWalt. Well, I'm happy to tell you that Makita is stomping back on that gas pedal and they're merging onto the highway. The Makita 18 volt X2 12 inch miter saw will impress you. From its size, power, upfront and easy accessible controls, intuitive design, it's not gonna disappoint, I promise you that. The Toolbox Buzz crew was pretty excited and welcome back Makita. Interested to see what this saw was all about. We took it to our job site and then we evaluated it later here in the shop. A full list of features and specs can be viewed in the article at Toolbox Buzz website. The website article always has more info than the video. It's a longer version. Um, let's talk about motor and electronics. It's a Makita built electronically controlled brushless motor, 4,400 RPMs. Um, this direct drive brushless motor eliminates carbon brushes. Uh, it enables the motor to run cooler efficiently and longer lifespan. We know that, less maintenance as well. And like all Makita direct drive motors, there's no belt to slip or replace. This tool also has electronics. So like a lot of these pretty expensive tools, you wanna to protect your investment. The electronics automatically adjust the cutting speed and torque depending on the cutting application demand. Soft start motor, electric brake as well as there is an overload, overload overheat protection where if the tool will stop working and the battery indicator on the tool will blink for 60 seconds, letting you know to ease up. Uh, as far as runtime, if you power this thing with two five amp hour 18 volt batteries, you can make up to 175 cuts per charge on two by 12 lumber, that's awesome. Um, one pair of batteries easily got us to the end of the day. Uh, most times two or three days. And don't forget, Makita batteries charge fast. As far as the ca uh, capacity, it can go left and right 60 degrees. It'll bevel to zero to 48 degrees. And it has a positive miter stops that we're all familiar with. The zero, 15, 22 and a half, 31, six, 45, um, 60. The miter fence does need to be removed for certain bevels. I hate that, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Um, the T-fence on, on, the, on, the, on the fence, the T-fence system, it's pretty precise and it's sturdy, I like that. Um, personally, when I'm cutting on these type of saws, I like to cut vertically when I can. This saw will let me cut six and three quarter inches vertically. It will also cross cut a 15 degree board at 90 degrees and a 10 and a half inch board at 45 degrees and eight inch crown molding vertically nested. This saw is a big saw, guys. Big saw, small footprint. I'll explain what I mean by that. It has two steel reel sliding system, and it's designed to reduce the saw's footprint. They slide forward. You can push this saw right up against the wall. The reel system uses a lineal ball bearing system, not bushings. So we, f we find that it slides beautifully, and it's got a really sturdy head. Not a lot of slop there. Um, oversized, large aluminum base uh, plate, really stable saw. The drawback is it's heavy, it's 69 pounds, and this means moving it around is not gonna be done lightly. You definitely wanna mount this saw in a mobile base if you're gonna be moving this thing around. Uh, let me see. We looked at the uh, automatic start, auto, auto start wireless system. They call it AWS. And AWS utilizes Bluetooth technology to power on and off communication between the saw or a tool and a dust extractor. And we tested this with a dust extractor, Makita dust extractor. It worked beautifully. The, uh, the tool and the AWS, the, uh, the tool and the AWS transmitter is sold separately. This kind of makes sense because if you're not gonna get the dust extractor, you shouldn't have to pay for the transmitter. Let me see, the, uh, when testing the Makita miter saw, we used a uh, cordless vacuum cleaner from Makita. Was there X? CV16 version. I really like this setup and I'll tell you why. The vacuum's small, it's easy to carry around. The communication between the two once we paired them is perfect. Saw turns on, vacuum turns on, stays on for a few seconds. Beautiful. When we found that the, the vacuum system when connected to the saw is excellent. There's virtually no dust. The vacuum has plastic bags that can easily be emptied or reused and tossed or tossed away if you want. Um, let me see, the vacuum capacity is small. I do want to talk about that. We figured we'd get, I don't know, a day or two of, of use of heavy cutting, and we were right, but you just, you just empty it. 
The Makita saw has a built-in laser, and that's gonna indicate one side or the other of the blade. And you can adjust it, so you can display left of the blade or right of the blade. The laser also has a separate on-off switch, so you can control that if you don't like it. Um, the laser will also display when the tool is turned off and the blade is not spinning. And I liked that because you could then lower the blade and line up precise cuts and things like that. The laser pretty much is the only thing I don't like about this saw. Um, I've never been a fan of lasers and I prefer a blade shadow light option. It, it's just gonna mark that blade. The feature, the light option feature, unlike a laser, never has to be calibrated. It just casts the shadow on the blade. And that could be any thickness blade. It doesn't matter, the shadow is the shadow. Using the saw, we use the saw, let me see, my first impression after carrying the saw out of the trailer into a house, second floor back, it was super heavy and not easy to carry. My second impression, was how easy to use the upfront controls were and how smooth that rail action was. The slides are very smooth smooth, and they have a really nice working lock, looking working locking pin that I've ever seen on any saw. Um, let me see, additionally, the miter saw head can be locked in an up or down position for storage. And let me see, I talked to you about how, how smooth it cuts. We were surprised not only how smooth it cut, but how powerful the cutting action was on the saw with two 18 volt batteries, five amp hour 18 volt batteries. It's basically a wood eating beast uh, for a battery saw. Setting up the saw, there's an included Allen wrench that stores conveniently and somewhat hidden underneath the bevel angle adjustment knob. Uh, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but it, it took me a while to find this Allen wrench. Um, I felt silly when I found it. I had to look at the manual and. It's right there. The batteries that come with it, I, I have the kit. It came with a dual battery charger. They charge in under 45 or 40 minutes, something like that. We found the upfront controls on the saw intuitive, easy to use, and well designed. As far as improvements, I, there's not much to pick on the saw. I do wish Makita would swap out the laser for a different system that doesn't require calibration. Simple, stupid works for me. Just cast the shadow. Uh, let me see. Like many cordless saws, I also wish that I didn't have to remove the fence. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. I don't really understand the design, but I do know that the head gets in the way. And lastly, the Makita manual sucks. Like many other manufacturers, not a lot of pictures and not really descriptive. As far as cost, you can buy this for $976 online at Ohio Power Tools. We put a link below in the description. And overall, my thoughts on this is I started my career with Makita tools, and back then these saws were called drop saws or chop saws. And man, have they changed. Right off the bat, this saw, I'm thinking this thing is perfect for placing it on a workbench, in a shop, uh, up against a wall, in a cramped job site, or even in a, a, a large or a commercial hallway. Setting, setting up a, a miter saw in a hallway, yep, been there, done that, and it's no fun. People trying to get around you, you're trying to spin wood around, it's not good. This saw takes up little real estate, it requires no electricity to get its mission accomplished. The crew was highly impressed with the build quality, the accuracy, and the power. And again, they, would, they do it with two 18 volt batteries, five amp hour. So if you're looking for a full size capacity saw, you need to look closer at this one. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your input or give us a thumbs up. Appreciate your support, guys. Have a great day. I'm Rob Roblood, and we'll see you next time here at Toolbox Buzz.